I need to tell you something that's going to sound absolutely ridiculous. For the past three weeks, I've been wearing a computer on my face. Not just any computer, a legitimate heads-up display feeding me information during meetings, presentations, even family dinners. And here's the wildest part. Nobody noticed. Not my colleagues, not my clients, not even my wife who notices when I change my phone wallpaper. How is that possible in 2025 when every piece of tech screams, look at me? Well, stick around because what I'm about to show you completely flips the smart glasses game on its head, and it might just change how you think about wearable technology forever. Before we dive into what makes these glasses special, we need to talk about the elephant in the room. Smart glasses have a massive image problem, and frankly, they deserve it. Meta's Ray-Bans? Cool tech, but you're basically strapping a camera to your face. People get uncomfortable, boardrooms ban them, restaurants side-eye you, and honestly, can you blame them? We're living in a world where privacy feels like a luxury we can't afford anymore. Every device is listening, watching, recording. So when tech companies try to sell us glasses with cameras and microphones, something inside us recoils. We want the benefits of augmented reality without becoming walking surveillance devices. That's where the Even Reality's G2 enters the picture with a philosophy that's either completely brilliant or totally insane, depending on who you ask. They looked at what everyone else was doing and said, what if we just don't do that? These are the Even Realities G2, and they represent something rare in tech. Restraint. No cameras, no speakers, no microphones listening to your every word. Just a display that only you can see, floating information in front of your eyes while the rest of the world remains completely unaware. When I first heard about this approach, I'll be honest, I was skeptical. We're so conditioned to expect more is better in technology. More cameras, more sensors, more AI, more everything. But even realities went the opposite direction, and after living with these for three weeks, I think they might be onto something profound. The G2 weighs just 36 grams. For context, that's lighter than most prescription glasses you're probably already wearing. The frames are full titanium with magnesium construction, and they've somehow managed to make them 20% smaller than the previous generation while maintaining that premium, substantial feel you'd expect from high-end eyewear. Now let's talk about that screen, because this is where things get interesting. You're looking at dual micro-LED waveguides integrated into both lenses. That fancy tech speaks for tiny projectors that beam images directly into your field of vision. The display is monochrome green, and before you start thinking this looks like something from a 1980s computer terminal, there's actually solid science behind this choice. Your eyes process green light more efficiently than any other color on the spectrum. This means less eye strain during extended use and significantly better readability across all lighting conditions, from dimly lit conference rooms to bright outdoor sunlight. Plus, and this is crucial, green displays consume drastically less power than full-color alternatives. This single design decision is why the G2 absolutely destroys the competition when it comes to battery life. We're talking two full days on the glasses themselves. The charging case provides seven additional complete charges, which translates to 14 days of total use before you need to find a power outlet. Let me paint you a real scenario from last week. I had a presentation to deliver to a group of investors. High stakes, lots of technical information, the kind of situation where one stumble could derail everything. Normally, I'd have note cards or a laptop nearby, constantly breaking eye contact to check my talking points. Instead, I loaded my entire script into the G2's teleprompter function. As I spoke, text scrolled naturally in my field of vision, while I maintained perfect eye contact with everyone in the room. The feedback after? Multiple people commented on how engaged and confident I seemed. Nobody had any idea I was literally reading from a script floating in front of my eyes. That's when the real value of this technology clicked for me. This isn't about showing off having smart glasses. It's about having information exactly when you need it without disrupting the human connection. 
The display field of view is 27.5 degrees, giving you enough real estate to read comfortably without overwhelming your natural vision. The G2 runs on proprietary software that's genuinely trying to solve real problems, not just throw features at the wall. The Conversate function is particularly clever. It listens to your conversations and meetings, then automatically generates summaries with key points and action items. Think of it as having a personal assistant taking notes while you focus entirely on the actual conversation. There's also real-time translation that works surprisingly well. Someone speaks in Italian, French, Spanish, whatever. You see English text appear instantly in your display. No awkward phone holding, no obvious translation apps announcing to everyone that you don't understand the language. The experience is seamless and, more importantly, respectful. Now, I need to be completely transparent here. This software is still maturing. You'll encounter bugs. The Bluetooth connectivity can be finicky at times. Updates roll out regularly, but you're essentially an early adopter helping shape the future of this technology. If you need everything to work perfectly out of the box, these might not be for you yet. Here's where even realities made a controversial decision that I initially hated, but now completely understand. For $249 additional, you can get the R1 Ring controller. At first, this feels like an expensive add-on for functionality that should be included. But after using it, I get it. The ring is made from ceramic with stainless steel internals, and it controls the glasses through subtle finger movements. No reaching up to tap your frames like you're having a futuristic seizure. No voice commands that broadcast to everyone around you what you're doing. Just tiny, imperceptible gestures that feel almost like magic. But here's the clever part. This isn't just a controller. The ring doubles as a comprehensive health tracker with PPG sensors monitoring your heart rate, blood oxygen levels, skin temperature, and step counting. Two devices in one package. And if you're buying the G2 right now, even Realities is offering 50% off the ring as a launch promotion, bringing the total package to around $724 instead of the full $848. Let's address the massive elephant that's been stomping around this entire video, the price. At $599 for just the glasses, these are not cheap. Add the ring at the promotional price and you're still looking at over $700. That's real money. That's vacation money. That's new laptop money. So who should actually consider spending this much? If you're a content creator who needs to read scripts while maintaining eye contact with the camera, this pays for itself within a few projects. If you're a public speaker, CEO, or professional who delivers frequent presentations, the teleprompter function alone justifies the investment. If you work internationally and need real-time translation without obvious devices, this becomes a business tool, not a gadget. But if you're looking for smart glasses to take photos, listen to music, or have AI summarize your day, spend $300 on Meta's Ray-Bans instead. Different tools for different jobs. Speaking of Meta, we need to have an honest conversation about how these compare. Meta's smart glasses cost roughly half the price and come packed with cameras, speakers, and Meta AI integration. On paper, they offer way more features. So why would anyone choose the G2? It comes down to use case and environment. Meta's glasses are phenomenal for content creation, hands-free photos, and casual AI assistance. They're the fun, social smart glasses. But try wearing them in a corporate boardroom, lawyer's office, or anywhere cameras are prohibited, and you'll quickly find out they're not welcome. The G2 lives in those professional spaces where discretion matters. They're also the only option if you need strong prescriptions. The G2 supports lenses from negative 12 to positive 12 diopters, while Meta caps out at negative 4 to positive 4. If you wear strong glasses, Meta's product literally won't work for you. Both are impressive pieces of technology solving different problems for different people. Let's talk about what it's actually like to live with these things. 
the build quality is exceptional. These feel like $500 designer frames that happen to have technology inside, not tech gadgets disguised as glasses. The nose pieces are adjustable for different face shapes, and they include silicone temple covers for extended comfort during those long wear sessions. The charging case deserves special mention because it's built like an absolute tank. Magnetic charging connectors that actually work reliably, unlike the finicky setup on the first generation, you just drop the glasses in and they charge automatically. Both the glasses and case carry an IP65 rating, which means they're protected against water jets and dust. Not fully submersible like IP67, so don't take them swimming, but rain and accidental splashes won't kill them. I forgot I was wearing these in the shower once. They survived. Not recommended, but they survived. Before you rush to buy these, let me be very clear about who should absolutely not purchase the Even Realities G2. If you want smart glasses primarily for entertainment, skip these entirely. No music, no podcasts, no audio of any kind. If you're looking to capture moments with photos and videos, these have zero cameras. Go get the Meta Ray-Bans. If you need mature, bulletproof software that never hiccups, wait another year for the technology to stabilize. If $600 represents a significant financial stretch for you, there are better ways to spend that money. These are professional tools for specific use cases, not consumer gadgets for everyone. And if you're not comfortable being an early adopter who encounters occasional software quirks and provides feedback to help shape the product, you'll end up frustrated. This technology is incredible, but it's not for everyone, and that's perfectly okay. So here's my final take after three weeks of real-world use. The Even Realities G2 represents something genuinely different in the smart glasses space. They're not trying to be everything to everyone. They identified a specific problem, professionals who need information without social disruption, and they solved it elegantly. Are they perfect? Absolutely not. The software needs work, the price will scare away casual buyers, and the lack of audio limits certain use cases. But for presentations, meetings, translation, and discrete information access, nothing else comes close to matching this experience. If you're a content creator, public speaker, or professional who spends significant time in environments where maintaining eye contact and discretion matters, these might be the most valuable $600 you'll spend this year. If that's not you, no worries. Meta's glasses offer a completely different experience that might suit your needs better and I've got a full breakdown of those linked in the description below. Drop a comment telling me what you'd use smart glasses for in your daily life. Would you go for the discrete information approach or do you want the cameras and audio? I'm genuinely curious. And if you found this breakdown helpful, consider subscribing because I'm diving deep into every major wearable tech release this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.